so in this session we will discuss about some more advanced information gathering tools so first we will start with google advanced search so basically there is a way of searching on google okay first way is like we are normally searching second way is like we are using the google docs in google advanced search so how to use it so you can open the chrome browser and you can search for google advanced search and here you can click on advanced search so this will help you to create a google doc okay so you can write all these words whatever you want to include suppose you want to check out the ec council ceh pdf so here you will search ec council ceh pdf so this is a normal search right here you can you will get ec council website as well as you will get some pdf you will get some more blog websites and pdf drive website etc so in this query we will get the combination of various websites and results but what if if you want to get the result of only from ec council and you only want pdfs only of ceh and what we can do in that case because here you can see we are getting the result from like uh, from different websites here you can see civ trc website here we can pdf drive etc so here why we use google docs to like filter out the search query okay that is the main purpose of using the google docs and google advanced search to filter out the search results okay so here we can mention all these words so here we can men mention ec council or here we can mention the exact word or phrase so here you can mention ec council or ceh whatever you want okay and here you can see the example how to put these keywords now any of these words you can use the or operator for that or in none of these words you can put so we can leave it blank as well and number ranging now any languages you can choose any languages so here we, we can choose english now reason so any reason last update any like site or domain so here we can put ecouncil.org because here we want the result from ec council only okay terms appearing we can put anywhere in the page and file type we can put pdf okay you can search for any file type pdf ppt ps xls etc doc file etc and here you can click on advanced search now here you can see the google doc this is known as the google doc or google query so basically uh, we can see that google doc follow a particular type of syntax here you can see ec council as a word ceh site which site we are searching for ecouncil.org in file type what kind of file we want that is pdf okay now here, here you can see uh, you will only get the result of pdf only from ec council website related to ceh okay so here you can see we have this pdf here this one and here you can see the result from ec council and what is the type of pdf it is it is a ceh browser same as you can see ec uh, pdf from ec council pdf 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 etc and here you can see with this result you can see how many pages we got here you can see see more okay so here you can see the number of search results right and but here you can see we have only some few search results okay like one two three four up like five to six search results so why we basically use google docs to like filter out the search query search results okay so you can use this google advanced search for applying the google doc or you can use you can create your own docs okay or you can take help from the internet so first is google hacking database that is ghdb so here you can see you will find the lots of docs here like the latest updated docs now suppose you want to bypass any login page suppose you want to hack someone's login page or you want to bypass that login page sign up page so how we can do it so before bypassing we must find login pages right so for in that case we can apply the google doc so that we will like uh, only get the result as our login pages for example here you can search for login google doc right see so here you can see 
in URL login login. So we can copy this control C and we can paste here. So you can take help of this uh, uh, Google like in database. You can take help of this Google advanced search or you can create your own doc. Okay, or you can take uh, docs from the internet as well. Okay, so here you can see after applying this in URL means whatever in URL means whatever here we have the URL that must contain that login page. So here you can see whatever the result we have, we have only login page as a result. For example, this one and this one is yes. application login, is reporter login, citizen, and etc. So whatever we are getting the result, here we are getting the result of a login pages. See, this one is a login page, here you can bypass it using different techniques. Here is the login page. This one is the login page. This one is also a login page, right? A login page, a login page here, and a login page. So what we are getting as a result uh, only a login page because of the Google Doc. Okay, so that is like the benefit of uh, using Google Doc. Suppose you want to, uh, you want to like. Uh, to search for any type of attack or you want to search for e-commerce website to apply different types of attack so you can apply it okay uh, here you can apply is, uh, what uh, e-commerce website contain i'm sorry to interrupt uh, yes. uh where did it print? can you scroll up a little bit sorry where was that i was okay. seeing something super micro bmc login something was there Something which uh, one? Uh, in this page only there was something uh, super micro BMC login. You want me to search that? Yeah, yeah. In this page only it was there. Okay, okay, okay. You can do con control. F. You want me to move back? Okay, which one? No, no, not this one actually. In that Google hacking database only. Here I was able to see some something. Uh, can you press uh, back button on this one? On this page? This yeah, yeah, this one. This one, this one. Super micro DMC login. Yeah, can you show me this one? Give me a second. So here you can see the result. So here we can open this. Yes. These are the login pages, uh, which is uh, advanced. Proceed. Let me see who is, who is exposing this one. This is supposed to be some uh, super micro is a very uh, dedicated kind of motherboard uh, making company. I don't know who is exposing this one. Okay, okay. Should not Actually, be it is not about. Uh, it is not about exposing because uh, here they are all indexed on Google, and here now we are searching through Google Doc. Means we are searching like a hacker. Correct. Correct. So, so now I have got. To find... Now I have got the IP, and I I've got a target, right? Yeah, yeah you got a target. Now you can now bypass this login page using different types of attacks. And that correct. depends on the architecture of that login page. Correct, correct. Again, then again, uh, I mean, I can compromise this. Uh, whatever it is serving, because it is a, it's a server. Whatever it is going to serve, it's a server. So, okay. BMC login, I think this is a backup machine. Some backup kind of server. Right. Okay. So, that is why my... Uh, I like before compromising we have to check whether it is like vulnerable or not if it is vulnerable we can bypass it if it is not vulnerable we can apply a brute force attack on that correct okay, correct. okay. So we can continue this? yeah yeah we can continue i just wanted to try this yeah you can try this okay now here so here you can take help help of this google hacking details you can take help 
of this advanced search or here there is one more website that is known as pastewin pastewin google docs so you can take uh, the app of this pastewin as well so pastewin is very like a popular website which will provide you some like various kinds of information like uh, cc information and some you can say crack stream passwords etc and here you can see the block password so you can google docs here so here we can apply any of these um, google docs let's find out some useful so here you can see we can find the credentials using file type http password http password web user credentials so we can use that or we can use some various types of docs so whatever this space to win provide uh, those docs are like of high quality so you can just bookmark this website here paste it okay and one more is there that is uh, let me show you from my notes so here we have some more docs here suppose you want to hack any e-commerce website you want to dump the database of any e-commerce website and you can search here for the e-commerce website suppose you want news website so here you can search for news in url news.php if you want to search for any event based website any product based website etc so if we can copy this because e-commerce is like here like there we are buying or selling something what we are selling that is and that can be product so here we are applying for the product okay now whatever the result you will get these are e-commerce website or we can just put product.php instead of product so here you can see product we only will get that uh, e-commerce website okay any kind of e-commerce website and from that e-commerce website we can apply different different types of attacks Okay, more else, suppose if you want to check out the crack softwares, so you can apply this doc here, that is to name version 94FVR. So this will show you the crack version of any uh, premium application. Suppose you want Adobe Photoshop, so here you can put Adobe Photoshop version 94FVR. So this will show you the result of only the crack websites of uh, like Adobe Photoshop which contains the head of Photoshop as a crack version. So you can, we can apply this. Suppose you want head of Photoshop as a crack. So we can do head of Photoshop version 94 FVR. So here you can see we will, we get that uh, only that uh, uh, like URLs of crack version, like Photoshop crack 2023 version. Okay, and except this one, we have this Photoshop crack, Photoshop CC crack, Photoshop CC. So if you want to install any kind of uh, free or premium, uh, like uh, premium one, so you can like use this type of docs. Okay, but before installing any application from these sites, make sure you are installing or make sure you are checking that these applications are virus free or malware free. So for that, in that case, you can upload that file or that application or that exe file inside by its total website. Okay, here. You can choose your file. If uh, your file is uh, any type of exe file, you can check whether your file is like malicious or not. So virus total is a very popular website. Uh, I think you know about it. So this contains the, like lots of uh, like antivirus database here. Like uh, some popular ones are McAfee, okay, and KV antivirus, Kaspersky, Sky, Malware Whites, and Mexico, etc. So you can use it for any ki kind of document. You can find details here as well. Okay, and you can find relations, etc. So okay, so this one is for like for the correct version, head of Photoshop version 94 MPR. Okay, so here we can use it. So just like replace your tool, whatever you want to search, version 94 MPR.
no no this is like about uh, if you want to take like help of uh, different dogs now what if if you want to create your own dogs so basically uh here we can google docs follow a particular syntax here for example here we have some keywords which we can use inside google docs syntax okay for example file type so what kind of file you want to exactly search like pdf doc xls ppt etc you can search for it location like where you want to search your location there okay info it is like a common like what kind of information exactly you want so you can write in a one word answer or a statement here related so you can put a related what kind of information you want in related to link here you can put a link here as well or in anchor so anchor is a tag here of html that is a okay so this one anchor is a tag here now here what we can do suppose and why we use anchor suppose you want to let's say here let's open any website So here we have Jendek website. Now suppose Jendek wants to uh, like implement or like uh, embed any kind of uh, URL or link inside that uh, website. Suppose uh, let's say here we can say YouTube link. So this is a YouTube link. So how we can put any other link inside my HTML page? That is the purpose of Anchor Tech. So if you want to embed it, any kind of uh, link inside your web page which will redirect to you another web page that is known as in anchor tag like that is the whole purpose of anchor tag okay so here we can put uh, hre for the url from like where you want to redirect so this is like uh, basically the syntax of html element uh, like html uh, anchor tag so here uh, whatever we are searching suppose we, we are searching in anchor so in anchor means we are searching here, whatever, suppose you want to search in Anchor YouTube. So the website, those website will disappear, uh, like appear, whatever the YouTube is uh, in the Anchor tag of a particular web page. Same as all in Anchor, like uh, everything in Anchor. So in Anchor and all in Anchor, all in title or title, they like uh, both are the same only. Okay. Now, next we have all in title. We have title, all in title. So title is like uh, here, you can see. Uh, this is like a website okay and here you can see right click view pages but you can see we have a title here these titles are very important for ranking any website right if someone wants to search for uh, like online training in ccna or ccnp then that uh, google will rank this website or google will show jntech website at top of that okay and rest it depends on the location where we are like searching for so title is like very helpful so here we can put in title okay that is like uh, first we have in title and second we have all in title so they both are basically same so whatever you want to put in title you can put it for example here in title let's say hacking okay so let's apply this Google Doc. So in title hacking. So whatever website you see, for example, malware bytes. Let's click on this. Now, why this website appear in my Google search results? Because when you right click on here, new page source, in this title, you will find a hacking as a keyword here. The title hacking. Right. So here we are searching for the title, like we are searching for a particular keyword in inside a title of a, any particular website. Okay, same as you can find any other website. Uh, 49, you can click on this. And right click that and click on that view page source. And here you can see in title, that is hacking. So here you can find hacking as a keyword which is appearing in the title tag of HTML inside a web page. So here you can use that as well. 
okay in title and all in title like uh, they both are same same as in anchor and all in anchor they both are same okay now next we have uh, site that is for the particular site suppose you want to search for any particular site we can put it or if you want to search for any particular uh, site of any different country for example us so you can put us as a like extension of for pk for pakistan okay like this so you will only get the website from out from that country only okay for example here it site okay you can see we will only get the uh, website from pk that is here you can see the pakistani website here giggly.pk etc so whatever we will uh, getting result that is of the pk website okay of that country and in url all in url are both are same in url is like uh, whatever we have the url for example we have this simple looking url Okay, we have this URL. So whenever you are putting any kind of keyword inside URL, then that should that must be appear inside this URL here. Okay, that is the purpose of in URL and URL. And same as cage. So whatever is saved in the cage of that uh, Google servers, that will like appear. Okay. So in this, like you all in URL site in title anchor and location and file these are very important so you can try to create your own docs so just remember to follow the particular syntax for that okay so you can create your own docs you can take help of any other like there are like many resources that will provide you a particular like powerful docs so instead of creating one you can like you can like take help of the outer services or outer docs whatever the market is providing okay so is it clear this much any doubt in the google docs because they are like very important in searching for a particular query yes yes you are audible okay. Okay. so now next we can move forward with the if uh, like if you want to gather information from video search engines then you can use youtube metadata for it so it is a type of website and we can use it in like any platform. Okay, so here. You can search for YouTube metadata. So if you want to gather information of any video, once I keep on uploading the videos on YouTube, you can gather information using YouTube videos. So here, let's uh, copy any YouTube uh, uh, URL. So let's search for live focus music. I'll click on here. Now, right click on here and click on copy and like copy any URL. Copy video okay. and you can paste here. Click on submit. Okay, now give me the information of that particular video. For example, publish it. Okay, like date, time, etc. Channel ID, title of that particular video, description, and thumbnail information, like the width, height of that thumbnail. Okay. Here you can see the particular that thumbnail just used inside videos. Now you can see some like different information like category ID 10, which is like music. So it is a type of musical video. Audio language is English. Video ID is this one. Okay. Next here you can see the statistics. That is like news count, likes count, favorite count, etc. And comment count. So these sorry, are some sorry, like uh, statistics. Uh, can you scroll up? Yes. Uh, category ID is 10, which means music. This line here. So, uh, is it possible to get a, a category list of all uh, whatever these uh, are available? 
means uh, you want to get like the if i like say the... uh, what is if i want to see a some kind of a table where uh, category 5 what is category 5 or maybe okay, if i want to uh, see some see yeah so there there are some videos which are demonetized by youtube uh, if i want to see what category are those uh, listed any mm -hmm. idea any table we can get on that Uh, let's search that on uh, YouTube. Oh, sorry, on Google. So, YouTube video categories. Uh, Yeah, here you can find list of video video categories IDs. Yes, yes. yes. So twenty five, twenty six, twenty five, twenty six. Uh, no, twenty five is news and politics. Uh, okay. Can I sort uh using category five? I only want to see some uh this one, category twenty five things. Is it possible? Uh, means you want to check out. Uh, I want to check out videos which are only in the category twenty five. Okay, then uh, okay, those yes. met, uh, videos metadata I want to explore. Is it possible? Uh, so, so for that you can apply the filter on YouTube for that. Right. So here. So let's search for. So. News and politics. You just search that word only. Yeah, great, great. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. This is what I want to do. So yeah, you can find information like publish it, channel ID. Title, description, and more else. If we publish why this yes, one? Yes. Now it is showing category twenty five. Twenty five. Yeah. Which means yeah. this is what I wanted to check. This is what I wanted. Okay. okay. Great. Great. So we have rest information here. You can find statistics and status like uh, if this video is public or private or license etc. And you can find if the video is live stream, then you can find the live stream details and content details as well. Okay. And here you can find topic details. Now here you can like use that thumbnail for reverse image search. You can click on click to the image reverse image search. Sorry, one more question here. Uh, if it is a live video, uh, something. Do we get geolocation information where this live video was made? Um, that depends on the owner. If uh, they are like they reveal that geolocation, then we can find it. Otherwise, we cannot find it using YouTube metadata. Suppose this video, this is its life. So here you can find there is no geolocation because of uh, that uh, YouTube metadata is like. Uh, This will like some of your all information at one place. That is not to show you any extraordinary information. Okay, so it is like just summing up uh, all information that is on the that in that page in this one in one place. So we can find the statistics. Statistics we can find some more status and live stream details. But here we cannot find geolocation because that is not uh, revealed by that owner of that video. Okay, so that is why we cannot find it. Okay, and here we can click on any reverse image search and use use it Google Lens. Okay, so we can search for any um uh, we can say any thing any something use reverse image search. Okay. Yeah, I have done this one. Okay. 
So next here, if in any case YouTube metadata like would not work, you can use some other tools like Google Videos, Yahoo Videos, EZGIF, Video Reverser, Tiny AI Reverse Image Search, Yahoo Image Search. If any case, uh, because YouTube metadata is like a perfect tool, okay. But if in case uh, uh, this would not work, you can use some other tools. Okay, as alternative of this tool. One more question. So and it is so, not possible like, to. Yeah. So uh, that YouTube video, uh, the metadata and everything we are pulling out. So is there any way to uh, copy? I mean, uh, get the transcript also. Whatever they are saying, uh, oh. like audio to text. Because that transcript, okay, some videos are already provide that transcript over there only. And uh, okay, okay, like you want descriptions of that particular is different. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like you want captions of that particular video. Yeah, captions. Anything that will give uh, me like if I if I am not able to understand uh, that language properly, maybe some uh, different kind of English. Then I if I want to uh, extract out all whatever they are saying in a text format. If that would be possible because in some videos even they are also giving it line by line second by second at which second what line they are yeah. uh, basically uh, i don't connect tool if there's any because uh, uh, because here uh, if the owner is providing the subtitles from their side then we can check it but uh, i don't think so that is here we have some tool for extracting the transcript okay 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 So, next we have gather information from FTP search engine, uh, engines. So, that is where NAPAL FTP indexer. So, here we can search for it. I think that this will be like covered already, right? So, yeah, yesterday you showed me already. So, we can. So in any case, if Napalm would not work, you can use this one. And it is like not possible to try each and every tool inside the class. So here you can, that is that is why I put it in others category. So if in any case, YouTube metadata or any other tool will, would not work, you can use some other tools. And it is always a good practice to keep on exploring more and more tools. But these tools are not the part of the syllabus or not the part of the CH exam. Okay. So you can like, if you want to skip, you can skip. But if you want to check it out, you want to explore, you can easily explore it, okay. Now here we have gathered information from IoT search engines that is shown on, that uh, we have already discussed and census, okay. So Shodan is a website as well as a extension. So you can add it and census is a website. So in which you will get like some extra information, like some uh, like point of point information. So here you can search census search. Now here you can search for any IP address. So we can put uh, um JTIC or we can put at any other website similar point. So here you can copy. Address using Shoda. Okay, it is a type of extension, and here you can paste it. Control. So here you can see we have some basic information that is reverse DNS information, network information, routing information, protocols information. Okay, so here you can see uh, we have some details of that HTTP uh, request, and here you can view all data. Okay, so here you can see we have some more information like IP address, location, location country, we are like where the server is located because make my tip is a kind of website and website is hosted on, on some kind of server and there's a location of that server. Okay, and here you can see some more information. Okay, and you can see the HTTP information, that is services banner, 
services when it hashes, etc. Okay. So census is also a very powerful way for uh, gathering information of any website. Okay, so here you can use Shoda, you can use shared census. Next, here we have Netcraft. So Netcraft is a type of uh, extension. Okay, so this will also protect you from phishing web pages. So um, mm -hmm. that is already covered. You can just uh, let me check it if it is covered or not. Yeah. So that we had already discussed yesterday. So we can skip this. In if in any case, Netcraft will not work. One second. One second. So if in any, any case netcraft would not, not work, you can use sublistor or pentest tools okay, for finding the subdomains or for finding uh, different different types of information. Basically, sublistor is a very powerful tool. We can use it. It is a, a GitHub tool. So we have to install it inside Kali Linux. Okay. So that is, uh, you can search for sublistor inside uh, okay. like sublistor in GitHub. Or from uh, before installing, we can check it out inside Kali Linux if it is like pre install or not. So we can try this. So let's wait for Kali Linux to boot up. So if, in, if uh, that is pre-installed, you can use it inside Kali. If it is not pre-installed, you can use it in this website. Okay. So that is, service is a very powerful tool for, uh, for finding the subdomains of a particular website. And why are we finding the subdomains? Because if one subdomain is secure, it is not uh, possible to apply the same security level in each and every subdomains. For example, here, uh, for example, let's say Google. Here we have some subdomain mail.google.com, map.google.com, and here we can find meet.google.com. So here, mail is a subdomain here, and google.com is a domain here. So it is like, uh, it is not uh, always a case that uh, the company will provide, like, applying the same security level in each and every subdomain. So if one subdomain is secure, we can apply the attack in different subdomain. So we have to keep on applying the attack on different different subdomains inside a website. And even we can find some hidden subdomains. For example, there's a random character and here you can see google.com. So here you can see this is a hidden subdomain here, which is not expected by or not uh, like uh, browse by any kind of simple user. But we can find it and as it is hidden, so there might, there might be some kind of uh, confidential information inside that subdomain. So we can apply that attack on that confidential subdomain here. So it is very important to find the subdomain of a particular website as well as it is very important to find the directories, files and folders of any particular website. Like how many web pages are there, etc. Okay, so here we can apply. So first, uh, before installing, let's check if Subregister is a part of Kali Linux or not. Okay. So here you can search. You can search for Subregister here. No, that is not a part of uh, Kali Linux. Or you can search for inside that terminal. Okay. That is uh, sudo so first. 
and here we can serve this star. Now that is not installed, so you can install it, but we will not install from here. We will install from GitHub. So what is this GitHub? As you know, that uh, GitHub is a online community where uh, there are like various uh, kind of uh, cybersecurity professionals in various types of coders from different different platform. They come, uh, they come together for uh, for create uh, like they create their own tools and publish their tools on this GitHub platform. So GitHub is a very powerful platform. Here we can find each and every tool. We we we, we can find like most of the tools from GitHub only. Even you can create your own tools and you can put it inside GitHub. Okay, so that some may some other can use your tool. Okay, you can create your malware. You can create your hacking tools. You can automate some tools here, and you can like put the automation process or automated stuff here on GitHub. Okay, after putting your tools, you can like making that uh, tool public. Okay, so that uh, you can use it, or some other some other users can use it freely. Same as we can use it many tools from GitHub, which is created by some other creators. That is some other uh, coders. So here you can find the languages. So it is made up of Python, which is like it is made up of pure Python here. And these are some contributors of that uh, uh, sub-register. And here you can use, you can see used by. So sub-register is used by various uh, like uh, enterprise, okay, and various members of the community. So how to install it? So the installation process is very straightforward. Before installing any tool, just read this readme file. Readme.md file, this one. And here you can find the information of sublist. Like what is the purpose of this tool? Okay, and how to install it. So here you can find sublist is a Python tool designed to enumerate subdomains of website using OSINT. So this uh, sublist take help of the OSINT tool. And what is this OSINT? OSINT is a very powerful framework that I will show you okay, in a while. So now here you can how to install it. You can copy this uh, URL. Okay, you can click on copy or you can just copy here. Control C. And now here, here we have to clone it. So for cloning, you, you can type git clone and or you can just paste to the URL here. Okay. So this will clone that uh, uh, GitHub tool inside your Linux. Okay, so cloning is completed. Now what we can do, we can we have to move inside that sublister. So you can type ls here. Now here you can see uh, sublister is here. Okay, now we have to move inside this directory. That is cd sublister. Now we can create the screen ls. Okay, so here we are inside sublister. Now, as it is made up of Python. Okay, so here you can see py file here. Not py file. Now, before like using the tool, we have to install the packages of Python because Python is a programming language. And Python is like, uh, have many frameworks and packages, right? So for using uh, the sublister, we have to install the packages of Python. And how to install it? So that is installed by a pip manager. That is pip pip. That is a Python uh, package manager, which is used to install the packages of Python. For example, here you can see a file that is requirements.txt. You can read this file. And here you can see we have some uh, requirements. That is ARG, that is argument parse, DNS Python and request. So we have to install these uh, uh, packages of Python before using the sublister. Because when you read the source code of Sublister, so Sublister is using the libraries or packages 
like this. Okay, so we have to install it. So there's like two ways of installing. You can install one by one or you can install directly. So for the directly, you can use this command pip install hyphen r requirements dot txt. Okay. So whatever the package packages which are mentioned inside that requirements file, so pip will install it. What is pip? Pip is a package manager for Python, which is used to install or uninstall the packages of Python here. And so this will install the Python packages. And that is like, uh, if uh, it is like uh, pre-installed, that is this will show requirements already satisfied. Okay, now we can kill the screen else. Now we have to check uh, whether this tool is made up of Python 2 or Python 3. Because as we have two types of Python, Python 2 and Python 3. So how to check it? So you can uh, use, you can open this file. That's a uh, Mr. .py. From here. And here you can see Python. So here at line number 1, it is mentioned Python. If it is Python 3, then we can say that, okay, it is made up of Python 3. But now, here yeah, it is Python. So here we can say it is made up of Python. Okay, so we have two types of Python, Python 2 and Python 3. So for running any Python tool inside your Linux, we have to install Python first. Okay, for, for that, you can type apt-get install Python. Okay, first we can install Python. Second, we can install Python 3. Okay, now second you can install Python 3 for future uses. So Python 2 and 3 are installed. Now how to apply or how to like uh, use the tool? You can type Python space and name of your file that is sublister.py. Okay, enter. And if you can find a manual how to use this tool. For example, uh, one second. So here you can see how to use that to, uh, particular tool. So you can take here you can see the uses. Like uh, these are some like uh, arguments or reflex we can set it or uh, options we can use with subregister. So D for the domain, whatever domain you want to enumerate. Okay, means your target domain. Brute force, if you want to brute force, okay, port, if you want to scan for the ports, etc. Like subdomain against specific TCP ports. Verbose, this verbose is for, it will like give you extra information of a particular result. Okay, like if there's any error or if there's any extra information or in, inside your result, so you can put verbose here. So either you can put hyphen V or you can put hyphen hyphen verbose, any of these. Number of threads. So this will increase number of threads so, so that uh, the speed of enumeration will be increased. Okay. These are for the search engines, whatever, whatever like engines you want to use for enumeration. If you want to save your output, you can save it or help for like to display the help. Okay, so how to use it? So here you can see Python sublister.py hyphen D or your domain name here. Okay. And you can see some more examples, so you can check this out. But for now, here we can apply. First, we will type hyphen H for help. So these are the options or flex we can use with subdomain with, with sublister. Now Python sublister.py hyphen D for domain. Now your domain name here. Okay. So here your domain name we can put uh, any kind of uh, website. So let's put gntechnetworks.com. So it is searching in each and every subdomain, like, sorry, in each and every search engines, like uh, Yahoo, Google, Bing, Ask, Netcraft, DNS, Dumpster, Virus, Total, etc. So it is a, um, subregister is a, a like, a powerful tool. We can use it in some scenarios.
So let's wait for the result and then we can move forward. So it is like uh, if you ever want to like install any GitHub tool, so the process is like the same. So the installation process is same for uh, each and every tool you want to install for uh, from GitHub. Okay. So let's wait for the result and then we can move forward. So here we are getting any an error. GM techniques. Okay, so here we can try with some other website. Okay, so if one tool would not work, you can use some other tools. Okay, for example, for the subdomains, um, we can use this one more tool. Um, yeah. There's one more tool that is crt.sh that uh, we had discussed yesterday in this one that is for the sign for the subdomain if uh, you can use multiple tools okay if uh, one tool would not work you can use different tools okay so here you can see the result we doesn't get any result here so we can scan for some like uh, some other website uh let's scan for shopify okay so, in the meantime, we can move to other tool. So, after the that sublister, we have some personal information. If you want to gather some personal information of any person, so you can use multiple uh, websites for that. Like, for example, we have PQ, People, etc. So, PQ is a, uh, like an average website. You can use it. Okay, for example, here, PQ, okay. Now here we have to put in the name of the person you want to scan for. So it is not like you are scanning for your neighbor because that is not, uh, basically we can only scan for the popular ones. Okay, for example, Mark. Okay, and here we can put any kind of state which is like India is not mentioned here. So we can put all the states, okay. So this will like show the results of work on different different social network sites, the phone numbers, the emails, the images of in like on all entire network. So here you can see uh, we have some information of Mark here. Uh, we have some public records, we have some criminal records as well. Okay, we have some arrest records, phone book information, email addresses, okay, etc. So here we have some Instagram handles, TikTok, Twitter, and Pinterest, Cura, etc. Okay, and we the keyboard of course. And here you can see the mark address. <laughs> okay, I don't know that it is like the real one or not. And here you can see the mark age, which is 80. Okay. So you can use PQ for the like for the for the popular of any company. Okay. Now there's one more website that is being verified. Okay, so you can use that as well. That is also a, a average website, but the loading time of this website is very slow. So you can imagine the first name, last name of any particular user. So here uh, uh let's put my name. Here, that's fine. If I am basically, I'm not on any kind of networking like social sites, but still, let's search for your name or what if you want to search, you can search for name and name. Okay, you can put city that is Delhi, and here we can put state. Okay, and basically, uh. Hmm. Let's put all. 
it for over here. Continue. So this will search for me if uh, there's any me inside in the net internet. So it can it will search for it. So it will like look for uh, for my records. Okay. Now this will take uh, time. So you can put my middle name as a and you can just um, for it. I'm not sure what information you are interested in. So basically, um, I'm not on any. You can find any information like contact information and personal details. Continue. And here we can use tick I agree. Basically, this will take a little so long, so you can uh, use it. Okay. So I just want to show you that there's a like that is PQ and being verified. So you can use it any of these. Now gather an email list using the harvester. So previously the harvester was a, like a very powerful tool, but nowadays we can it's like an average tool. If you want to use it, you can like we can use it. So Harvest is a Linux tool which is like installed in your Kali Linux and Parade OS. Okay, so for, for the Harvester, you can search for the Harvester. iPhone H, that is self. Okay, that is not found. So you can install it. No. the harvester hyphen edge so basically it is like a pre-installed inside your system but uh, i just uninstalled it because of any some issue so we can install it you can press y for install it so this will install the harvester inside your system so you can use like uh, you can use harvester in different uh, domains you can gather email information you can gather some more information using harvester okay you can gather uh employee information etc but harvester remove google as a search engine from its uh, like from its tool or from its code so that is why we cannot use google as a search engine for searching for the emails using harvester okay so in place of that uh, we can use some other search engine like we can use um that uh, yahoo or bing we can use it now we can type harvester help. So this is okay. That is harvester is deprecated. So we can use the harvester. The harvester. So these are some information. And here you can see the uh, search source. Source is like where you want to search, right? So harvester uses like various sources. So we can apply the command the harvester. Now hyphen. So first we have to put a domain D for domain. So here we can put domain name Amazon.com or you can use any domain hyphen L. So hyphen L is like limit the search results. So here we are limiting up to 200 search results. Okay. So the harvester will show you maximum 200 results. Okay, so here you can put uh, any like limitation here or if you want to, if you don't want to put, you can remove it and hyphen B for the that uh, for the source. So you can use these sources which are not that much popular because uh, for the security reasons, the harvester remove Google as a search engine and uh, that uh, LinkedIn as a search engine. So we can use Yahoo or uh, some other search engine here. So it is like searching on that particular search engine. You can put even all here, like uh, source all. So you can search in each and every subdomain. So here you can see some, we have some information of uh, uh, subdomains. See, subdomain is like uh, very important. If, sub, if uh, like a particular subdomain is hidden, 
we can try to attack on that particular subdomain okay because if sub if uh, that subdomain is hidden that um, uh, that might be contain any confidential information so we can like try any kind of attack on that okay so here you can see resume so this is my subdomain auto author central dot amazon dot com and you can see the ip address and you can see different ip addresses of different different subdomains okay and here you can see this subdomain you can see and if you want to open it we can open it using we can copy that url control shift c and here we can paste it So here you can see with this is of uh, Amazon. Okay, you can sign up. So this is a sign up page of that Amazon. Then we can uh, bypass it. Even we can bypass that two step verification that we can apply in Google security or any other security. So we can easily bypass. We can easily bypass that OTP verification. That I will show you. Okay. Now, after the harvest, next we have the um, gather information using Big Web or Dark Web using Tor browser. So, that uh, we will continue later because uh, that is the part of uh, some other topic that is Dark Web or Deep Web that we will see in the next weekend. Okay. Now, next here we have data mine. Target OS through passive footprinting. Okay, so here you can see census that uh, we had already discussed, or others are like Netcraft or Shooter that you already know. Now, next we have performed footprinting through social networking sites. So that is like same as the harvester. We are using the same command. Here was here we are only changing that source. So previously we were using the Yahoo. Now here we are using LinkedIn. But here we cannot use LinkedIn as well because it is also deprecated from the harvester because of the security reasons. So here you can find sources from here. And you can use full hunt, you can use GitHub, you can use hacker target, hunter, etc. But here you cannot use Google or uh, what we can say that LinkedIn. Okay. So you can try the command is like see. Now gather personal information from various social networking sites using Sherlock. So Sherlock is a very powerful tool. So we can use it. Now Sherlock is a GitHub tool. So we have to install it. Okay, so the installation process is like straightforward. You can search for Sherlock. GitHub. So here you can see we have information of Sherlock. Click on that tool here. It is a GitHub. Now you can check. The languages which is which is made up of so here you can see python so this tool is made up of python and docker file okay like 99 percent it is made up of python so now here you can how to install it so the installation process is like the same as you can follow that instruction process. So remove, so just ignore this hash. You have to clone this first. You have to copy that dollar command here. Uh, this one, this one, and this one. So just copy this uh, git clone, control C, and paste inside your uh, call links. You can move outside, and here we can paste it. So that is like already exist, ls. Now move inside that location, CD Sherlock. Sherlock. LS. Now here you can see, now the same process is for the Sherlock. We have to install the packages which is required for running the Sherlock inside Linux. Yeah, as it is made up of python and python con contains many packages so for installing uh, that uh, sherlock we have to install the packages of python that is inside requirements.txt if you want to read file so you can read that file 
so here you can see these are some requirements which needs to be fulfilled for uh, running that uh, Sherlock tool. Okay, so how to install it? Just copy this Python three. Now it is made up of Python three. Okay, as you can see, a yeah, Python three. Okay, now how to use it? So you can follow that uh, command here. First, you can type Python as it is made up of Python. Sherlock hyphen hyphen help. Okay, so you can see these are some arguments we can use with Sherlock. Okay, now here we can put, put Python 3 Sherlock and name of your user you want to scan for. So here you have to put username. Okay, or you can put like multiple users name. So let's search for my username. Okay. So here you can put Python 3 Sherlock. In my username, let's say basically the username I use is Vavyajan321. Enter. So as, as you know, username is like unique in each and every account or in each and every website or in each and every platform you are using. So user, username is like unique. So here that is why we are searching for the username instead of only name. Okay, so instead of searching for the name, you can search for the username that is like unique in each and every like platform you are using. So it is like searching my username in different platforms. So let's wait for the result. So here you can see, uh, basically I am on GitHub. So we can copy the URL here okay, and we can open my GitHub account. Copy, let's show. Yeah, basically I am on GitHub. So that is true. Okay, so this is my account. Okay, that is like previously created my old one. So these are my um, projects, okay, some random basic projects. So basically this is my account. So Sherlock is like providing the exact uh, result. And here you can see the Roblox. Basically I am I'm not sure that I am on Roblox or not. I'm not sure. Okay, so this will like keep on searching for different different platforms in on internet where I am like, uh, as you, I am like uh, created my account as a Bavajan three to one username. Okay, so just stopping this because this will take time.
okay so after sherlock if in any case sherlock would not work you can use social searcher or user click on okay in any case now gather information using follower wonk so follower wonk is a um website which is like uh, used for to search a twitter name like twitter like it is like gather information using twitter okay so so for it so here So here you can search for follow wonk and click on it analyze Twitter followers. Now how to use it? So basically here you can put the screen name. That is like uh, here you can put your uh, uh, username with that at the rate. So can you tell me your username because I am not on Twitter. So we can scan for your username that it is safe like this will cause no harm to your account. So, are you on Twitter? I don't use that. Can we try anyone else? Sachin, Ranguli, someone? Anand Mahindra? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. We can try any one of this. So, let's try this one. Oh, let's try my only. Basically, I'm not on Twitter, but still, we can search for Mamajan. Okay, now analyze users they follow or analyze their followers. So we we can apply that. So followers or following. So do it. So basically, this is not uh, my account. Okay, so here yeah, you can see social authority one time on of followers so these are my followers so even you can check the followers list as well for example here you click on view all so these are my followers i when i miss these are not my photos basically this account followers that account is following okay. so this uh, account name of vision this is uh, that is this account is following these followers so these are the information you can get and here you My can get one search result. It's a very common name, actually. Sorry, we get only one uh, search result. It's a very common name, I guess. Um, basically, that depends on how we are writing the username because we are writing the username Bhavajan. Now, other username can be Bhavajan 321, anything. Okay, so here we are basically searching for the username. Can you try three two one one two three whatever? I Bhavya Jain something like that. So no, not found. So we can use one two three four. Not found. Can you try I Bhavya Jain? Okay. I okay. This one. Yeah. Can you try this? Not found. Not so, taken, I guess. Not taken, I guess. Sorry. And not taken. Not found is okay. It it's like not a domain found. name. Okay, right? The one uh, the one who buys it first, books it first. Uh, kind of we can say right. Can we try Anand Mahindra now? Just Google yeah, his yeah, exact, yeah. his uh, original uh, Twitter handle from Google and that username you try. Uh, what is the spelling? Anand Mahindra. Anand, okay, okay. This one, so we can copy. Yeah. You want to use? Mm. Mm -hmm. 
should explain. So here we have the result of that same account. Okay, like uh, we have... so you can see social authority, followers, time on, and retweets, contacts, URL tweets. Okay, and what here you this? can just check out... what is this social authority? Uh, it's blue in color. It is a hyperlink, I think. Can you click it, please? That is the introduction of uh, what social authority is. One to hundred. Is for... Yeah. Uh, can I search users above ninety one? Um, using social authority. Any other software? Um, no, exactly no, because these tools are limited. But yeah, you can create your own tool. With the help of Python, that like that we can do it. You can create your own tool like follower work, and you can apply that filter inside your tool. That uh, this will search for the account which is like above, uh, like ninety one or ninety social authority. So that you can yeah. do it. Okay, okay. I'll try to find a tool. Yeah. Okay. So here you can see some more information and charts, etc. No. Again, uh, do we get any geolocation based? Where is he tweeting from? Um, basically, that is like private. Now we cannot like Twitter. Why Twitter will reveal that where the tech my that Anand Mahindra is like tweeting from? That should be like confidential. Uh, yeah, but, uh, but this uh, course is CEH. <laughs> I, yeah, but to see it, some tool should it give me some privileged information. Yeah, I know, but CH doesn't mean that here we are getting like very depth information. For that, you can enroll in penetration testing, in which we are going in deep how to like, or you can enroll in forensics. So that uh, will teach you how we can gather information of uh, the locations of different different platforms from their from where they are retweeting, etc. Or, or if you want to do it, you can create your malware. And you can apply that. You can send it to someone, and whenever they are retweeting, you can like get the location of it. But CH is like it is like a, not. It is a basically a limited um, certification. Uh, that is not the advanced part. For CH, yeah. But we will discuss the advanced part. How how to create malware? How to create uh, malware using Python? But uh, that is uh, the part of forensics, whatever you are uh, uh, asking about. Okay. Okay. All right. CEH is the foundation step. Uh, just to open my it mind like, as well. Like, when I want to yeah. It is like a basic, uh, uh, just to clear your fundamentals, like how we can actually hack. As CH contains like uh, the slivers of each and every domain. For example, CH contains the part of uh, wireless hacking, part of uh, penetration testing, part of some part of SOC, some part of uh, Android hacking, system hacking. So it is a combination of multiple domains inside cybersecurity. So it is like uh, the basic one. And but for the particular domain, you can move to some other like uh, domains. And that depends on your interest uh, why you are studying the CH. That is why we have the CH first. It is like the first stair of uh, your cyber in, in your cybersecurity career. So this will show you like uh, your exact interest in which domain you want to go in like cybersecurity. As you know, we have like multiple domains in cybersecurity. So that depends. So it is like the basic one. Okay. We cannot like hope too much from the CEH. Okay, but if you want to uh, like any kind of resources for any other kinds of uh, like uh, course or uh, any kind of tools so you can like ping me anytime okay yeah sure definitely we will keep on planning something so after that we have performed 
website footprinting using ping so that is as you know here we can use ping so yesterday we had discussed about that uh, i think ping we had discussed no so ping is ping is like a basic utility for windows for, for mac and for linux so what we can do with ping so basically here we can like uh, scan for uh, we can check type address we can check uh, the number of hopes no that is we can do with the help of trace suit now here we can check the frame size as well and we can check the time to live uh, of any target etc for example here you can see uh, we can search for let's click on so in the same thing from here So now let's ping GNTech networks. So four packet sent, four packet received, lost zero percent. Okay, and here we get the IPv6 of GNTech. Okay. Now, how we know the frame size of uh, GNTech? Like what kind of uh, how many uh, like uh, size of packet that to frame that gen deck is as, like accepting so here we can mention the frame size we can check uh, uh, we can check the frame size as well so we can copy this command okay. and we can modify this later so here we can put gen deck. networks sorry next so here you can see packets needs to be fragmented so that is like size is large so here we can decrease the size let's say 1400 and here we can check it out request return out So even GenTech it's not accepting. Uh, give me a second. So here, uh, let's try this again. So the frame size is less than 1400. So we can try 1300 here. Request it. I'm out. GM tech next. Everything is good. So the frame size is less than 1300. So here we can try 12500. One two zero zero one two five zero. So here you can see the JTAC is accepting the packets of one two five zero size. Okay, of frame size. Now here we can increase some more. So the frame size is between one two five zero to one three zero zero. So here we can know the exact frame size that is one two. Uh, let's say one two six zero. Uh, that is in between. So no, so the size is like uh, one two five zero, one two five five. We can put no. So basically, the frame size is one two five zero, and like in between one two five zero to one two five five. So here we can put one two five two for checking the exact frame size. The JTAG is accepting. So that is one two five two. Now here we can try one two five three. So now it is like requested timeout. So the frame size which the JNTAC uh, uh, is accepting is one two five two. 
So, and why I like to worry about it frame size because we can create malwares less than this size or we can create the exact size of that malware to send the uh, to send in uh, like on JDF website etc. So we can like use this frame size information in later modules in system hacking basically. So this is like one view of identifying the frame size. Okay. So we can use any IP address. We can so Jendek is a website. We can try this with any kind of server or any kind of system. Okay. Same as you can apply the time to live of target machine. You can know the exact detail of the target machine. Okay, that you can do it by yourself. Now next we have gather information about a target website using photon so photon is also a, a very good website so before photon let me show you one more tool that is wayback machine so here we can try this wayback machine So here you can see we have some uh, like Wayback Machine will show you the history of any particular website. Like uh, suppose let's visit this website. Okay. So now this is like a front page, or we can see the front end side of EC Council in 2023. Now, what if you want to check when the EC Council released its website, how it looks, etc.? So we can go in past, so we can check out. So, Wayback Machine is like a time machine for the websites. So, here we can just check for EC Council in browse history. So, let's so I know about Wayback Machine, uh, but uh, okay. Okay. Awesome. I'm really so we can what other information it can give. I, I have only used it for viewing old pages, which are maybe now deleted or something. Okay. 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 So we can suppose here you can visit 2022, 2002. Sorry. Now here you can check it out that uh, Jen. This one, this one is not short of easy concept. So here, you can check out the like uh, page source of easy concept. And with this page source, you can uh, know the nature of that uh, website. Like suppose if you want to hack easy concept website, or if you want to hack uh, a large enterprise, so you should know how these enterprises or how these companies are uh, taking their updates, how they are like upgrading, how they are like progressing, how like which technology they are uh, using. For example, if uh, EC Councilor is using PHP, so like uh, suppose uh, at first EC Council uses PHP version 1.1. Now it is like keep on using the PHP version like 1.1 then it is like keep on upgrading 1.2, 1.3, 1.4. So by this knowledge or by this information we know that uh, EC Council only use PHP as a backend language okay and uh, here so here we can know the nature of a particular uh, company or a website that this company can stick to any one technology so we can apply the attack or we can find a spread for that particular technology only okay so that we can like uh, uh, we can say we can like analyze so as you know about that, so we can move forward with this photon. So photon is a, like it is a for information so, uh, gathering. Just to clarify, so Wayback Machine will give us only a strategy, right? Uh, by noticing how uh, and what they are updating, what they're doing. We can plan a strategy on the, uh, maybe like the programming language, like you said, PHP, something like that. Yeah, right? we can, yeah, it we only can gives plan a strategy. strategy. Right? Um, basically, we can say it's like more than a strategy. If we are analyzing each and every web page from the Wayback Machine in detail, then we can find some more information as well. Like uh, even you can find some confidential information like email, password, etc. You can find it. 
So that you can have, you have to check out that uh, page source of that website. Okay. Correct, correct. So it is possible to like uh, uh, we can like some sometimes the web, like uh, by applying the by seeing the view page source, you can find email or username or ID or password or any phone number or any other information inside the HTML comment tag. Okay. Or HTML page or any JS uh, comment, you can find it. So it's like it's providing you like you can analyze it. You can like create a strategy. So it is like the one part of the strategy. It is not a whole strategy. We can like use it for creating the strategy. But that in case if you are hacking a particular website or a particular enterprise, because of, for analyzing the Wayback machine, it is like so time consuming. As you can see, we are like lots of like lots of pages for analyzing. So that is like time consuming. So if you want to hack any large enterprise, then you can use that. Okay, like uh, here we have to like, uh, we should know what information we have to focus on the information first. Then only we can create a particular tag. We have to focus on information gathering. We have to focus on scanning. Then we can only uh, create a particular tag. So the information we are gathering should be sound. Okay, that is like, uh, like powerful information or we can see the accurate or exact information then only we can apply a successful attack on any website okay now next here we have photo so we can search for it photo in github and click on here so here you can find uh, like a features photo so here you can see, so this will like uh, discover the URLs that is in the scope and out of scope. URLs with parameters and email, social media accounts, files, etc. Okay, now what we can do, we can just follow the installation process to install that tool photo. So here you can, uh, that is for Docker. So we, we do need Docker here. Now here you can see we don't have that uh, installation process. Now what we can do? So first we have to check out the technology it is made up of. So it is made up of pure Python, right? So now what we can do, we can click on code, copy this URL from here, control C. Okay, after that, you can uh, apply it. Okay, you can type git clone and let me move this backward. So it is like already exist. Now let's move inside photo. Ls. Now here we inside photo. Now here you can see photo is made up of Python. Now which type of Python? Python two or Python three? So we can check it using photon photon dot py. So it is like an official. So see here Python three. So it is made up of Python three. Now what we can do? We can install the packages of Python to use it. Okay. So how to install? Same process will be follow. You can see the requirements file here. So let's read this file. Get requirements. So these are the libraries or like the package packages we have to install. So let's clear this. Now here we can type Python three. Pip install. Uh, hyphen r comments dot txt okay here we to put hyphen m i guess yeah so this will install packages of uh, python which we can use with photon now we can use it so we can clear the screen now here we can use um, that is photon python3 photon.py and hyphen u url and gentech networks whatever you want to like uh, whoever is your target enter so let's wait for the result
okay so here you can see the result that is inside gentech uh, uh, directory so we can type ls you can move inside that directory here gentech okay ls ls okay now you can read that file one by one get external .txt. here we, we have some um important urls and we can read internal .txt. these are some urls from internals and we can read robots .txt. this is this is like robots .txt file even you know uh robots .txt file uh, can reveal some important information like some important credentials Okay, so you can try this. Okay, um, so that's it for today. Now rest, we will continue in the next weekend. Okay, now in the next weekend, we will complete this uh, module number second and module number three. Okay. So any doubt up to here? Uh, no, actually, uh, I did not try anything that you taught yesterday and today. I'll try, then I'll ask maybe in next topic or something. Okay, okay. So before moving forward, uh, this one resource for the Linux commands, basically you are certified, but still this one more command for Linux. If you want to like to polish your Linux fundamentals, then there's Linux journey. I think you know about it, but uh, Linux journey. So you can just check out the basic or some advanced commands from that uh, Linux. If you want to revise your concepts, then you can visit this website. Okay, and this there's one more PDF. Uh, that nice, uh, nice for the for yeah, uh, there's one more PDF. Uh, let me show you that. Um, maybe that is inside. Uh, Linux fundamentals. Yeah, no. Uh, that is like Linux commands. So there's one more like PDF for professionals. So I will share you this. Uh, well, uh, after all, you are certified, but still you can try this. Okay, you can check this out. Uh, if you find any help, you can take it from that PDF. Okay, so I will share you this page. This PDF consists of 65 pages. Okay, so you can like check this out. Okay, so I will share you that uh, this PDF as well as you can check it check this out. This comment these like Linux journey website as this will like provide you some basic or advanced commands so you can like check this out okay rest all your choice okay so any doubt up to here uh, no good so far okay so can we wrap up now uh, yeah sure Thank you.